Hello and welcome to Fiona's Creative Canvas. I'm Fiona and today I am going to try and recreate this small canvas on this size canvas. So this is one of my favorites. Um, the things that I like about it is the, the iridescent white, the big white lacing is a nice contrast. Now to recreate this I'm using the same colors and I know with acrylic pouring that you can't expect to get the same thing so I'm not expecting that but I just want to get some of the things that I like I think the the extra wide white lacing is probably going to be the hardest thing to get so that might not happen but I like the green which is part of the um, Prussian blue phalo um, I like the way that ended up in some parts and the iridescent white was also a um, big part of it. So my other colors that I have, I've got the grayish blue. This is cobalt blue. The three blues there are Amsterdam Standard Series and the iridescent white is Liquitex Basics. I've also got a little bit of um, phalo blue here. I haven't got much left so that's probably going to be placed near the center. Then I've got this one here which is a Extreme Sheen Deco Art Color that I haven't used yet and it's called Aquamarine. Just because I'm not sure how much of that green I'm going to get with the phalo blue I thought I'd add just a little bit of that and this here is my swipe mix which a lot of you have asked me what is what I use to get the lacing. So this is um, Amsterdam Titanium White. So it's this brand here, um, which I've heard is quite important. Um, you can get it with other brands, but this is a particularly good one. And Australian Flow Drop, this one here. So it's one part Titanium White, uh, Amsterdam Titanium White, and three parts Australian Flow Drop. So that will be my swipe mix. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to do fairly large puddles. Um, I may do a little bit of a mix through and then I'll start my swiping. Now, my paint, I haven't tested it and I'm a little bit worried it might be a little bit thick. But I'm going to know as soon as I pour this. Let's start with using our phalo blue. And that looks pretty good. Probably only going to get the one puddle. So I'm going to go ultra big puddles with this one. And we'll see how it works out. They're quite similar, the uh, phalo blue and the cobalt blue. And when it comes to the ultramarine and the deco art, I think this consistency looks pretty good. Um, I think I'm not going to put that down as a puddle. Because I only want a hint of it. Now I worked out I've got about 800 millilitres of paint and I'm hoping that's going to be enough. Thank you. 
All right, we're about to run out of the Prussian phalo blue. That's the last of that. I'm just filling out the spaces now. I'm just trying to square it off a bit. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. I um now I've got this colour. Let me work out where I'm gonna swipe first. I'm gonna use my big palette knife and we're going with white. I've got more of that cobalt blue left so I'll be able to use that I think I'm gonna come from here first no I might leave it up there come from the side oh it's always hard to work out which is easier because I need control I might go diamond it's not going to fit on my table. Ah, there we go. Okay, I'm going to add just a little bit here. And see what happens with that first. Because I just want a hint of it. This is a bit of an experiment. All right. I hope this works because I had a bit of trouble. <sighs> I've done a painting, uh, not yesterday, the day before, and I uh, was really disappointed with it. Didn't work at all. I used, I stuffed up my swipe mix. Um, I put the wrong ingredients in it, and so it screwed up my whole painting. Okay, here we go. I want to get some movement. This is a bigger piece, so I want movement. Let's have a go. This lacing looks really fine. You know what I didn't do? I didn't do my mix that I said I was going to do. That's interesting. Okay, I like that there's only a hint of it though. So I don't know whether I'm going to add any more of that. Maybe on the outside. I'm not sure about this lacing down here. I'm going to mix some of these colours through a little bit. Just wanted to see what that would do. <laughs> All right, what's next? Let's go from up here. I'm getting some of that bold stuff from that. Uh, that green. I don't think I'm going to add any more of it.
don't like the size of my lacing. This one's opening up a bit more. I like that. But the middle, that's okay there. Hmm. Right, I'm going to go this way. Which uh, doesn't have a lot of colour, so I might just grab a little bit of this blue here. Wipe that along there, we've got a bunch of lacing, that's interesting. Trying a few different size palette knives. I think I want to cross through there. I have a feeling I'm going to be tipping that off. Now this here, I know some of you guys have said how it gives it something. I'm just not sure about it. All right. What I'm going to do here, I'm going to swipe without using a swipe color. color that I like. Now I wonder if I can bring that through. That's pretty and it looks nice next to this. I might try swiping this through that green. Like that. That's quite pretty. Gives that a little bit of interest. Oh, we've got some cells popping up, which is cool. I'm going to start tilting this shortly, I think. Nice. Doesn't all have to be lacing. Oh, look at that. So I like, I like that. Don't like this. We can tip that off, I hope. These, the bits where I've just like scraped along the edge, it's got beautiful lacing. It's crazy. Oh, 
All right, let's get ready to tilt. I'm just trying to decide on my composition now. I like this, this. All right, let's give it a whirl. Let's test the weight of the paint. I'm just trying to decide on my composition. Just trying to work out whether I'm happy with that amount of blue up there. Uh, just a little bit more off, I think. Cool. A lot of interest in this. Now, I'm not sure if I've got a huge amount of the iridescent white, which I really liked in the last one. But I've got um, got a lovely blend of, I don't want to drip on it. I've done that so many times with my wet gloves. Let me take my, uh, actually let me check my corners. Let's get the corners done. That corner's pretty much done. This one's done. It looks like that one's done. It's just this one down here. Okay, that's good. Yeah, so. on there. Oh, I can't believe I did that. All right, I'm going to have to fix that. I don't know if that was a good idea. But... Make a little interest piece out of it. Try taking a bit of Prussian bellow blue. Try and make look it look like it's not completely out of place. Yeah, so this blend through here is really pretty. And we've got the white lacing up through here, which is nice. And this will be interesting because that's got the deco art through it. 
and then this looks like it's going to be quite pretty as well um i'm just contemplating tipping this way though it just makes the lacing a little bit bigger Yeah, I like that, the way it goes like that around. Oh, and that's interesting too. Problem is, the more I tilt, the more bent out of shape the lacing will get. So there's... Um, you know, you've got to work out what, if you're willing to sacrifice certain things. Right, I'm just going to take this through. Like that. Where's my torch? I've got a lot of scrapings here, so I'm going to do some collection. I'm curious how this comes out. I don't know why the lacing turned out smaller on this one. It's got me curious. I like I've got the phalo blue. The last of it has a nice block through there with the iridescent white. Okay, here is the wet result. And as I pointed out, this through here is quite pretty. We've got some cells happening through here. And these, this lacing looks really pretty. And then we've got the block of colour through the middle there breaks things up a bit. I like this lacing through here and this through here. This is a little bit softer, but it's on the it's got a bit of a dark contrast. And then over here will be interesting because that is the deco art. I don't see a lot of shine there, but uh, we'll check that out when it's dry. And then we've got the cobalt blue through the top or bottom. I haven't decided which way this is going yet. But yeah, I think it's uh, turned out pretty good. Obviously, it's not like my other one, but it's the same colours and general theme. And uh, I quite like it. I like these colours. I will bring you back when it's dry. Okay, here is the dry result. And uh, we'll have a look at the shine first. So we've got the iridescent white going through here. And we've got the Deco Art Extreme Sheen there. If you have a look at the iridescent white first, you can see a bit of a shine there. And then the Extreme Sheen is a lot shinier. Even though there's not a huge amount, like there's a big block of that uh, iridescent white there. And it goes up through there as well. That's all iridescent white. But the extreme sheen, uh, yeah, pops in the right light. So the goal for this one was... To mimic this a bit now the lacing you can tell I mean look at the difference in the size of the lacing it's huge on this but it's very fine on this one which um, I would have preferred bigger lacing because that's I guess what I was going for so I am curious to work out 
what makes the ch what's what's the difference between big and small lacing what causes that i suspect it might be uh, the consistency of the paint i want to show you if you have a look at this one here through the top there we've got some of this uh, type of cell lacing and we've got that through here as well so we have achieved some of the same stuff it's just on a different scale but on its own it's still pretty I like this lacing through here and here and this through here Lots of different uh, styles of lacing. Which always is interesting. And the Decker art through here. And I'm not sure what happened here. This is something that's really stretched and I'm not exactly sure why it's happened like that. I would have liked probably a bit more of this kind of green, which I did attempt to make, but I must have tipped it off. So I just have to be mindful of those sorts of things. Uh, yeah, so that's it for this one, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. And I have an open cup with a swipe next up. So you'll get that in a couple of days. So I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.